Hello, welcome to online tutorial of WorkFusion RPA Express created by Tilak Patil. In this lesson, we will learn how to create list variable. Set values to list variable and iterate list using for each loop. Please refer lesson number 3 to know how to open record a variable section and action library section. To create a list variable, click on plus symbol in record a variable section. Give name to variable, for example, color. In type drop-down select list. You can also give default value to list variable. Let's have a quick demo to demonstrate setting value to list and printing values from list using for each loop. For that, I have created a text file containing comma separated list of colors. Let's write a script to copy this list of color into our list variable and then print it one by one in another text file. To implement this flow, drag drop mouse click action from action library. Double click on mouse click action and click on capture new image. You can see a countdown started. Now, once the countdown is complete, select the text file which is to be open. Set the target where click is to be happen. Select the double click option from drop down. Now, drag drop enter keystrokes from action library. Double click on it. Click on change. Press Ctrl A. Click on save. Again drag drop enter keystrokes from action library. Double click on it, click on change. Press Ctrl C, click on save. Drag drop clipboard from action library once again. Double click on it, now select set variable value from clipboard. Select our list variable color. Select what separator used in columns drop down to comma. As our list is comma separated value list. The above steps will open a text file, copy its content, and set the content in color list variable. Now we have to open a new text file and paste the content of color list variable using for each loop. For that, drag drop enter keystrokes. Double click on it. Click on change. Press Windows key and R key. Click on save. Again, drag drop enter keystrokes. Double click on it. Select type text. Type notepad. Again, drag drop. Enter keystrokes. Double click on it. Click on change. Press enter key. Click on save. The above actions will open a new notepad file using runs window. Next step is to iterate our color list variable and paste its content in newly opened notepad. For that, from loops, drag down, for each loop. Double click on it. Select the color list variable from drop down. The above configuration signifies that, for each item in list variable, iterate the list. Now drag drop clipboard inside the for each loop. Double click on it. Select copy variable value to clipboard. Select item variable from drop down. The item variable holds current value of list in loop. Now, drag drop enter keystrokes inside the for each loop. Double click on it. Click on change. Press Ctrl V key. Click on save. Again, drag drop enter keystrokes inside the for each loop. Double click on it. Click on change. Press enter key. Click on save. The above action will paste the current value of list in loop into text file separated by new line. Let's save and play the recording. You can see that the WorkFusion has successfully copied the comma separated list content from one text file and pasted it in other text file. This is it for the day. Comment down the suggestions if any. Thank you and have a nice day.